Hello everyone and welcome back once again to my development environment. So this is probably going to be uh, riding on the coattails of uh, 1.8 episode 2 just to kind of give you a little update here. Mostly been working on fun ores and uh, I think I mentioned in that episode, you'd think I'd remember considering I just edited it, that I was planning on adding a uh, furnace to can give you some special bonuses. So here it is. It doesn't have a texture or a model yet, but uh, this is the GUI. It's just like a regular furnace, except it has two output slots instead of one. You can use it to cook regular stuff, and if you do, it will actually give you about 50% more for your fuel. So one piece of coal gives you 12 cooked items for regular stuff and you can see it's smelting a bit faster and that fuel will burn the same amount of time as a regular furnace. Over here for the ores on the other hand, fuel does half of what it would normally would, only smelting four ores with a single piece of coal for example, but you do get the bonus nuggets out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and Put in a piece of coal and you can see it's kind of slow but uh, it will work and i haven't quite decided on a recipe for these yet uh, i did add these two new metal types over here this is bronze this is brass they're made from bronze is made from three copper and one tin and for now these are just shapeless crafting recipes but I might do something like an alloy smelter later on or something and just have to see what I feel like doing and the brass is copper and zinc which is what you would expect if you know what brass is and I uh, might actually want to double check that but I'm pretty sure this is how actual bronze and brass is made copper and tin copper and zinc and the actual ratios in real life may vary of course And let's see, over here I've got uh, just kind of a, some temporary recipes for the furnaces. So they're a bit expensive, requiring two blocks of the appropriate alloy as well as six more ingots. So that is 24? Yes, that is 24 ingots. I just worked that out on a piece of paper to make sure. I'm pretty tired here. Alright, so let's see, it looks like both of these furnaces are finished, and of course you can automate them, they work just like a regular furnace, so you can see I uh, turned on that hopper and it's just, it pulled out the ingots first, now it's pulling out the nuggets, and the hopper has no trouble keeping up with what this furnace can do, since it takes about 20 seconds to smelt a single ore, and you can see there is a bit of randomization with the number of nuggets it gives you, I believe it, I have it set to drop somewhere between 3 and 7 per ore. And the way it determines what ores to get extra nuggets from is it just uses the ore dictionary. Uh, basically all you need is for the ore to be registered as, for example, if it's copper it needs to be ore copper like that. And then you need to have an ingot registered as ingot copper. Just, you know, standard ore dictionary and then you have a, have a nugget registered as nugget copper and if you have those three things registered like that it should automatically give you the nuggets uh, when you smelt this and of course you have to have a vanilla smelting recipe that says copper ore to copper ingots and any anything that meets those requirements should get the nuggets as a bonus when smelted in this furnace but uh, I haven't test, tested anything yet and later on if I uh, figure out how and I think I do I might have I might add a, like a little bitty uh, API that adds a function for adding a special recipe for this. I, I don't know, just have to see how it works out. So I think that's about all I've got to say here. Um, at this point I'm still kind of hoping I might get the public beta out around Wednesday, but uh, I may push it back a week depending on how things go. Uh, I'm actually thinking about maybe starting over my 1.8 world already because the the origin is just all messed up in that area. The Fun Wars mod had very different configs when I generated it 
and I found what could be a pretty bad, uh, nasty bug in the Gems World generator as well. It was the same one that the Funnel Wars mod had. Surprise! <laughs> and I don't know if that affects 1.7 or not. If it does, I'll release a patch for 1.7 as well to fix the ore generator. It's, uh... Can't re remember if I've explained that, but I was passing in a, a random number for the the number of ores to generate, and what you're supposed to do, I think, is just pass in the maximum number, and then the ore generator takes care of the randomness. So I'll have to look at it in a bit more detail. the The object that does ore generation, its its code is really ugly to look at, but uh, I'll try to take some more. Quite, take a closer look at it tomorrow when I have more patience and uh, try to figure out how exactly it works. Uh, it doesn't look complicated. It's just that the names of all the stuff in it are just garbage names like D0, D1, D2. It, it, there are no descriptive names, which is a pretty common problem <laughs> if you've uh, looked at the decompiled Minecraft source code. Not all the names are the obvious be obfuscated if you know what that means i don't think i've ever had to say that word i've i've read it all the time but i've never had to say it because i have no friends that do this kind of stuff so sad all right well thanks for watching this video is probably a bit on the long side sorry about that so i'll try to keep you up to date with what i'm doing and probably post some kind of video whenever this stuff goes public if there's anyone who's interested in playing with it